Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, you will be learning purely Microsoft Azure firewall specific settings only. In the previous lectures, we learned about the Azure firewall overview as well as we also performed a firewall demo. But post to this, I thought to add the configuration settings and other configurations which I might not be explained in the as part of the demo but I wanted to cover here as a consolidated so to begin with this so when you install the Azure firewall you have the public IP as well as the private IP so that's where uh, you actually use the because the traffic will go out with the public IP so this is where the public IP information will be there and also in the rules you have three different type of rules uh, one is the NAT rules and uh, also you have the network rules and the application rules and also the most uh, useful feature which is the threat intelligence so you can configure here threat intelligence levels whether you want to completely turn off uh, or you want to you know set it just for the alert only so when you put it as alert you get the alerts information and also you get in the logs also and also you can configure alerts as well as the DNA so by using the DNA option any of the known high confidential alerts or traffic going through your firewall uh, which is known as the malicious IP address or destination with the FQDNs or the domain names it gets automatically blocked so that's a recommended setting maybe you can choose and you can click on um, by choosing that uh, you can save it so threat intelligence basically filters your entire uh, traffic which is routing from your firewall uh, for whether you want to you know get as an alert or you wanted to completely block it uh, from known or unknown malicious addresses so that's where it will be used threat intelligence and also this entire firewall services are moving to the firewall manager as a preview so here it's going to change the complete view uh, to the next generation preview so which is not scoped at this point of time and these are the firewall uh, property so these values you can't change it definitely but if at all you want to you know see your as your firewall whether this firewall deep blood firewall is in a availability zone or what subscription or what all the resource IDs all that information you can find out from the properties of your firewall under settings and uh, this is a logs for any other as you blade you have similar option and the metrics is uh, monitoring this is where you can filter you can choose and you can get more um, realistic firewall monitoring uh, metrics like data processed which is went out uh, the or incoming that information you can put or you can get it as the data process or application rules only hitting or maybe network rules filter or snat port utilization so all that way you can filter based on the metrics and uh, if I just take any of them like application rule hit uh, as part of the previous demo we did some of the uh, application rules like the Google or things you can you know see there what kind of you know size of the data has uh, pushed like 220 KB or something like that it was done uh, you can choose that and also uh, let me you know show you here like you know 800 K it is looks like and that's what the data is specific and you can drill down further level by integrating with your log analytics services uh, even for the data dashboards you can simply click on advanced filter so this is where you have the option so these are additional filtering options uh, to get more rest based api specific chats uh, which are default sometimes some of them are not and uh, that's about the metrics i would say uh, then let me go back to diagnostic settings so, so here if you just add any of the diagnostic settings options you can uh, configure based on the streaming or exporting or platform logs to your uh, specific to diagnostic destination so that you can check later point uh, with the different logs and coming back to the log analytic services this is a additional offering from the Microsoft and uh, that's a service for almost all the Azure offering services can be integrated with the log analytic services and you can query with the KQL uh, which is an, an additional log analytics version 
of a different language you can you know just filter and you can write that log and you can get the exact information so if you want to integrate that you can doing uh, from here so in our case we have not done any kind of you know, integration with the log analytics services but if you are interested you can click on get started so we talked uh, almost everything uh, like the rules like NAT rules so these are the NAT rules which we don't want to do it anyway but if you want more information on DNAT or NAT rules you can check out here the rules and the protocols hello Dine all that can be done these are the examples for the network rules uh, like hello Dine which we have already played in the previous demo and uh, coming back to the these are the same thing like you know we just tried with the uh, HTTP now you can also try with SSH or any other protocol which you know and also application specific also we tried uh, like in bond out bond also you can apply application specific rules and NAT uh, outbound specific rules also can be done. I hope this entire uh, demo is useful for you. Uh, please do check out the resources for additional learning material that would really help you to understand more. Thank you for watching this.